If you are experiencing a power outage, there is help available out there. 25 News reporter Leah McNeil joins us now from Colleen with more details about what the city is doing to prepare. It's safe to say this year's winter storm is in full swing. The sleet here in Colleen has been on and off throughout the day, but I have a little bit of that right here in my hand. It's picking up once again here in the area. Those temperatures tonight are expected to drop into the teens, but city officials say they are prepared. All systems are a go in Colleen with extra hands on standby if needed. We have plans in place. Um, to ensure that we have on call staffing in our water and sewer department, our street departments, and then of course police and fire. City officials also making it a priority to alert residents of the winter storm threat earlier than last year. We wanted to make sure that people knew that there would be some sort of winter event and to start preparing then. The top priority is keeping everyone safe. We can't do it alone. It takes the entire city to pull together. The city now partnering with local organizations to host warming shelters. Warming centers are not just for the homeless. They are for any resident of the city of Colleen's or actually any resident of the county. These shelters taking some of the load off of designated shelters for our homeless neighbors. There are people that don't want to spend the night in the shelter when we can reserve those spots in our facility that for people that are going to be in for the duration. Our community partners like churches that have the space that are willing to work with us are imperative. And so it really it takes a community uh, to protect the village. Kabinski says if money is not an issue, he suggests turning to a hotel. If you do lose power, Perez says the Moss Rose Center will be open tonight and tomorrow from 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. Thanks to some local organizations, a hot meal will be provided for anyone who needs it. Reporting in Colleen, Leah McNeil, 25 News.